Believe it or not, in this episode, we learn to count. We'll begin with simple counting of numbers, not strings. In this episode, we look at two ways to count in your spreadsheet. The first one is a simple count, and the function name is count, C-O-U-N-T, just as you would assume. So we'll begin typing equals followed by the word count. Then we put in our left or open parentheses. Now, a funny thing about count is it doesn't want to count strings. It wants to count numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and use my students' averages as the range to count. Put in a right parentheses and hit return. And there are 10 students, which is correct. COUNTIF provides a means to count up only those cells within a range that meet a specific criteria. Okay, the second type of counting that I want to teach you today is conditional counting. We'll look at a range of cells and count up those cells that meet a specific criteria. Now what we're going to do is we're going to count up the number of A's, B's, C's, and so on. And we'll begin with the A's. Now to get a simple count, we would use count, the count function. But for a conditional count, we use count if. So I'll type in my equal sign and the word count if. Well, it's a word in spreadsheets. Okay, then I need a left or opening parentheses, and my range is from K2, Bonnie's grade, all the way down to K11, Gloria's grade. But I'm going to copy this down from row 14 all the way down to row 18. So I'm going to make my range absolute. So begin with a dollar sign, K, dollar sign, 2. So we always begin at Bonnie's grade. Put in our colon, another dollar sign K, and a dollar sign 11. So we will always end our range at glorious grade. Then put in a comma. We need one other parameter for the COUNTIF, and that is our criteria. And we're looking for a letter grade A. So I'll put in A in quotes, close it up, and hit return. And yes, we do have two A's, both Bonnie and Linda. Now, let's copy that down. And because we're not changing our range and we're not changing our criteria, it remains constant, too. We're always counting A's. So let's go in and change that. Let's go to our count for B's, double click to open it up, and then we'll just change our criteria from an A to a B. And there are four. Yes, Jim's got a B. Mark's got a B, Butch has a B, and Gloria has a B. There are four. Now let's update our search for C's. There are two of those, Emma and Karen. Then let's update our search for D's. We should have one of those, and that would be for Joe. And finally, let's do the F's. And we should have one of those for Mike. So now our counts are all correct. Don't forget to practice these skills that we cover in the videos. That way you'll remember them 
when you need them.